Hey what's up guys my name is Alone and a lot of you guys actually told me that you liked my last video talking about reaching silver so thank you a lot for that. Now it's time to talk about how my journey from silver to gold was. So something that was quite often happening even in bronze just as much as silver is something I forgot to talk about in my previous video but climbing to gold from silver hardcore reminded me of this. The fact that even after a point is completely lost and you're on the defensive side people still kept going in one one by one trying to contest. So if you are one of those people who usually do that, please stop doing it. What will happen is that you will die 1 versus 6 and the enemy team just pushes straight onto the second point and you will not even have time to get back into the fight. So when a point is lost, make sure to tell your teammates to back off instead of going back and trying to defend it. This is honestly a huge reason why a lot of capture point maps are just a steamroll on this SR. When it comes to hero picks, I myself had to actually pick quite differently from how I did when I went from bronze to silver. Back then I usually picked Genji or Soldier for basically all the games. And that worked great because I could just sprint around or jump around, not really take much damage at all while being effective, even if my team didn't really help me much. In silver all the way to gold, I tended to face a lot of Torbjorn Symmetron defense with an occasional Bastion thrown into the mix. And playing Genji versus that is not the greatest, I have to first deal with a turret and he can just build a new one and then I have to deal with the Symmetra turrets, get the TP, just so many things I have to focus on meanwhile you know reflecting a Bastion. So picking Genji was not the optimal pick there I felt like. Most of the games when I tried playing Genji versus that I didn't really get any healing at all either because people don't really have that great awareness and even though I'm asking for healing people kind of ignore me and they just heal the tanks instead so I had to spend pretty much the entire game just looking for health packs, peeking, taking damage to the Torb turret, getting a health pack and overall it wasn't very effective. Due to all these reasons I decided to play a lot of Roadhog who can just heal himself and to counter the defensive combo of Torb and Symmetra I played quite a bit of Farah. Farah is also great if you're decent with her as hit scans on this SR don't really have the greatest aim and sure there are times where the hit scans in the enemy team actually does have the decent aim and I got completely destroyed as Farah, but most of the time I could jump on them and destroy them without too much trouble. So I'm just going to mention some very popular hero picks on this SR. We still have the very popular Junkrat who seems to be getting kills consistently on this SR and I assume that's why he's so popular. And also I started seeing a lot of Bastions. I didn't really see any Bastions in Bronze but I'm starting to see a lot in Silver. If I would actually take a guess at how many games had a Bastion in them from 1500 SR to 2000, I would say about 60% of the games. It's also very normal to see soldier picks, but I mean soldier is pretty much in every single game, even on higher SR, so it's not really like he's a bad character or a strange pick for this SR, he's just picked all the time basically in all SRs I guess. Now absolutely by far the least picked character hero for sure at this SR is Hanso and McCree. And I actually counted exactly how many of each I played with and against in all these 500 SR that I played through. I played with and against an overall of 3 McCrees in about 20 games and I played with and against 2 Hanzo players. I don't really believe that McCree and Hanzo are picked so rarely because of them being known as hard to play heroes but rather due to the meta not allowing them as much. I actually did keep seeing people rage at me for picking McCree versus Afara and they just said no we need a soldier don't pick McCree soldier is way more effective. So the reasons why I think it's more about the meta than anything is because Hanzo is never picked as I said but there's a lot of Genjis and Genji is even harder to play but because Genji is seen as in the meta that's why people pick him and never ever anyone picks Hanzo and as a matter of fact there are people in the chat every single game almost that I play who keep saying we need two tanks, two healers, two DPS. Oh you're on McCree, now nah, get soldier. So it seems like the meta is actually everything people focus on on this SR. So again when it comes to being punished for bad positioning people have an overall better aim and game awareness I could start to feel the difference when I got into silver right off the bat and actually as I started getting closer to gold I noticed quite a difference. The closer I got to gold specifically the last few games I got punished way more and people actually started doing decent damage to me so in those games I started to play a bit more safe instead of just going straight into the fight without a plan. So I can definitely feel like people are getting better at the game and that's how it should be. It feels like a steady climb in skill all the way from bronze to gold and it feels like every single step that I take, every 100 SR, 
people start doing a bit more damage to me, people start having a bit more awareness, and yeah, it seems like the MMR system is working great. So just like I said in my last video when I went from bronze to silver, I did not really feel like I was stuck in silver this time either. It did take quite a bit longer to go from silver to gold even though it's only half the SR needed compared to 750 to 1500. But in bronze I had games when I gained like 120 SR at a time. Meanwhile in silver I gained about maybe 60 at the maximum so it's quite a difference. So next up is obviously platinum and I'm actually quite excited about that. I'm expecting platinum to be fairly easy for me to reach but at the same time I feel like all the games previously all, all the way up to gold I've been able to kind of carry and soon I might not be able to which means I might not necessarily get stuck but it might take longer to climb but for now this is going to be it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy it and if you have any feedback about these videos please let me know it's worth so much for me right now because I'm starting to make these overwatch videos and having a lot of fun doing it and you know there's so many things I can probably improve on so all the feedback is much appreciated and I'll see you in the next video guys take care